Look at this tank. Heavy hammer! Oh, dude! That bull's gonna be 400 this year. Dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where's the other side? We'll find it. Oh my. Pick that Look thing up. Look at that. <laughs> dude. Holy Look at crap. that horn. I can't even look at that mass, dude. <laughs> He's young. We're killing oh, him. Smokes. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> that is a giant horn. After the spring shed fever runs dry and the bulls start their new growth, we find ourselves hiking the higher elevations, setting trail cams, and doing a lot of scouting. The anticipation of getting eyes on that giant we left from the year before is uncontrollable. We spend countless hours trying to locate that next monster in hopes of finding him again during the upcoming hunting season. This year, our good friend Shane Roton was able to obtain the Utah statewide elk tag, which allowed him to hunt from September 1st to January 15th. Shane has grown up hunting his whole life and is a hardcore, do-it-yourself kind of hunter. Holding the statewide tag, Shane was in search of one of the biggest bulls to roam the state of Utah. With a couple candidates we had in mind, we had nine months to make it happen. The hunt was on. Had to get his hands a little muddy creating that dam. Just trying to get, make a little bit of water for him to come. Maybe wallow, get a drink. We left him a little treat right here just to keep him around to get some <laughs> sweet pitcher. You can't, well, I, I want to lick that, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. He's a big bull. 
He's, <laughs> he's pretty cool. He's gnarly looking. Here he is. Would you hunt him? Mm. There you go. He ain't bad. What is he, a seven by what? Seven by seven? I don't even know, let me count. Seven by, yeah, seven by eight. But he's just got a little knob on it at the end of his beat. He's a cool ball, let's see what happens. What you got? Well, me and JD have been trying to find some new spots, new areas to get ground in all weekend. We're clear down in this nasty hole, clear down in there, far away from the road. And JD looks in the dirt, look at that. That's an old, old film camera. Somebody probably shot a big buck right here 30, 40, 50 years ago. Look at that thing. That's cool. Let's go develop the roll. 230 buck on that roll. Love this trailer, dude. Killer. Homemade. What a lax and looks it makes up in love, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> We're going on a ram hunt. Just looking for a 410 inch ram. It's gonna be a world record. He's if we get him down this trip, he won't be broom. But if we wait too much longer, he could be broom. If you see a ram, you better shoot it. Yep. Yep. If we wait too long, he'll probably broom <laughs> off his backs. <laughs> he just won't have the length and might have to let him go. about a foot of snow and instead of getting a foot we got three feet Bill's freaking butt. Stuck as crap. We're getting closer to the project so though. We got two of his buddies out there feeding. One, he's got snow all over his face, a seven by six that we've seen before. I'll put the scope on him. Let's see what he is. Pretty sweet, dude. Gotta love these old beaters. Air cooled's the only way to go for this Western adventure. <laughs> uh. Well, this morning we uh, hiked it on this big rim. Uh, come to look for a bull that we've known about for a year or two and Rhett found him 
two, three days ago, and uh, we've come back a couple times and got some pretty good video, but this morning we wanted to get really good, really good look at him, see exactly what he was, and it's been an awesome morning, no wind, perfect, uh, just a perfect morning, overcast a little bit, and uh, this thing's unbelievable. What do you guys, JT, Rhett, what do you guys think? He's a pig. He's a dinosaur. It's just, they got the dinosaur look. When you look at this bull, it's just mass. I and mean, he's only a five point, and we think he's pushing 390 as a five point. One of the, uh, probably the second biggest bull I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. We've got some amazing video this morning with their scope cams. Bring the nice Lumix this morning and probably shot about 32 gig, 40 gig of video of this bull. I think we got about every angle we need to look at. So. Standing squats before you shoot statewide fuel. Warrior fuel. <laughs> oh, we're just watching the giant as it blizzards on us. Just trying to find a game plan. Kind of on a little flat bench. We can't really sneak on him or anything. Lose elevation. We can't see him. The beam, the beams are so bigger. They're like cedar trees. It's sick. Red's getting some pretty killer right now. We're at 1,500 yards from him. It's the best look I've had of the chance later after the beds we'll make a move on him. We got up here early this morning, spotted the bull at first light, been watching him for a couple hours, he just bedded down. So Reggie, JT, Shane and his brother are just getting in position to make a move to where they can see him and hopefully get a shot at him from probably three, four hundred yards. So stay tuned. That's how to get good.
right next to that green tree on the right. Wait, 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 he's up. Low, a little hit low. Tab low. Touch low. low. Hit a I hit him? Low. Oh, yeah. Touch low, perfect, Touch left low, right. Perfect right and left. He's, walking left he's left, he's in front of the other bull that was to the left now. Got him. Got another one, Shane. Got another one. I think that hit her. Nailed him. Done. Yeah, you're hitting a little low. Oh, he's, he's in the wide open. Oh, oh he's, down. he's down. down. Oh! Oh, he's going down. Woo! Yeah! Oh, sweet, buddy. Bam, bam. <laughs> Pull down. Impatient buggers starting the clown show over here. My neck was kinking. I hate. Ah! <laughs> BBD. I see some big fronts. Nah. Look at that big old shit. Woo! Banana bull. The rhinoceros. We took her down to the end. And so what we did this year is we we had uh, Reggie and Tad and JT and their friends out just busting it all fall. And they found some good bulls. It was a tough year in Utah, but they had some good bulls that maybe we'll visit again. And time was running out. My wife told me that I could not leave in the last three weeks of her pregnancy, and we are two weeks away. <laughs> so. He's two weeks away and two days from home, right? Yeah, <laughs> and so, especially with our pack out of here. Yeah, no kid. Reggie and his buddies and these guys been watching this bull for two or three weeks. We're giving it all the way down to the very bitter end for our for our number one bull. Good news is it's bull down. Bull down. Thank Let's you. Go check him out. He's got <laughs> G1s exactly this. He's got bananas. Big. big old bananas. G1s are my it, favorite time. I'm not gonna call him banana chiquita. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my dude, give me some of that shit. That thing is a beast. Oh my. Dude. Oh. oh. Yeah! <laughs> How about that for a bender of a G1? Oh, he's a bender. I've never seen one quite like that before. Oh. Seen lots of good country. Chased a couple of huge bulls and shot a dragon. 
and uh, just want to say thank you. Obviously, we sit behind this just a heck of a bull. It's just a giant, and it totally outdoes anything that Utah has to offer this year. And so, I just want to say thank you to everybody. You ever seen a bull look like Shaq? <laughs> just today. <laughs> Shane's giant bull, nicknamed Rhino, girl scored 390 inches and has mass and character that never ends. He will for sure go down as one of the largest five-point bulls ever harvested. Congrats, Shane, on one awesome bull.